Hi, I'm Scott with Rusty Guns Kennel, and this is the first video in a series of videos to help you guys train your dogs. Uh, who we have here is we have Cash, and we're going to start introductory to gunfire and introductory to birds today. Uh, there's a lot of videos on the web. There's a million different techniques that you can utilize to do this. This is simply one of them. I uh, encourage you to look at everything and always get with a reputable trainer and according to your dog's ability, use whatever method works best. Cash has seen some birds in the past. He has seen some gunfire. But what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how we introduce right him. Right now is we're going to walk Cash up and down along the side of over here. And you see how anxious he is. He knows this drill pretty well right now. So we're going to walk this along, have him search for birds. In the process of doing that, we're going to introduce him to a little bit of cat fire. You'll see how his reaction is when he gets excited when he hears the cat fire. That is because we've told him and shown him that good things will happen when he hears that noise. All right? Come on, Cash. Let's go. What we're going to do is we're going to walk this grass line and have Cash hunt. In the process of him hunting, all we're going to do is try to desensitize him to noise or have him understand that noise is a good thing. Cash, let's go. Cash, let's go. Hunt up. You notice the dog's reaction? He's not spooked. He's actually looking for game after the shot. Let's go. Time with your dog and training pistol, and then eventually moving up to louder noises such as a 410 or a 20 gauge. Uh, then you can start focusing your dog on some birds. Uh, you can run these two events simultaneously. Uh, dog can get real excited about the birds and then the noise as well. Uh, Cash has been on birds once or twice before, but he is still a young pup. That's why we've got him on a checkboard. What we're going to do now is every time you take your dog out, you want your dog to be set up for as much success as possible. Um, we've got a bird located in a launcher. It's upwind of us, so I'm sure he's probably got a good nose full of it already. What you're going to do is you're going to work your dog into the wind for success every single time until he, under he or she understands the task at hand. What we're going to do is work cash up into this here. We're going to get a point on him. From there, we're going to introduce the birds. We're going to allow him to retrieve the birds. The birds have been had one set of primary feathers removed from it, so it will not go that far. We don't have to worry about shooting and actually killing the bird for him today. Get him staunch on point. Whoa. Whoa. Reinforcing the woe command as much as we can. Whoa. You see his focus is completely on the bird in the launcher right now, which is excellent. Works well for both the uh, introduction to birds as well as introduction to the gunfire. Whoa. Do not release your bird until the dog is very focused on the bird and staunch on point. Whoa. 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 Him being anxious and wanting to get the bird is okay. But again, we're trying to teach steady to wing, steady to shot. Whoa. Once he relaxes, whoa. Whoa. Once he relaxes, then you can release him for the retrieve. Whoa. And to help with the retrieve, while the dog's got the bird in his mouth, you can slowly bring him to you because he's going to want to not leave that bird behind. Whoa. Lots of praise. And that is introduction to birds and introduction to gunfire.